Hey guys, it's James Hurst with The Marketing Show. And in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to copy contacts from one sub account to another without using Zapier. And we're gonna learn about inbound webhook triggers, the LC premium triggers, as well as webhooks. So I'm here in a sub account and I'm gonna go ahead and call this send contact to training account, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and say when there's a new contact, when a contact is created, then I want to send a webhook over to another account, okay? But where do I send it? Well, I need to go get that URL right there, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and head over here. Now this is the training account, and I'm gonna create a workflow, start from scratch. This episode is sponsored by Extendly for High Level. If you haven't met the good folks over at Extendly, uh, you ought to take a look and see what they have to offer. They're one of the bigger support agencies in the high level space right now. So they, they have a snapshot store with completely crazy built out snapshots, uh, white label onboarding support and training, high level dashboard customization, as well as the Academy for High Level, Melissa and Stephanie Blair. So I had a chance to meet Bayant in person just recently in Dallas at the Sasspreneur event. We had a chance to get to know each other better. I've also been working with them and teaching and coaching in their Facebook group, and you may have seen some of my tips and tricks videos that I put on for them as well. So if you haven't had a chance to take a look at Extendly, go to getextendly.com. That's getextendly.com. Now back to the show. And the trigger, this is gonna be uh, catch a new contact being created from the test account, okay? So I'm gonna do an inbound webhook and that is the URL that I'm gonna use. Almost like a almost like a Zapier webhook, same idea. Copy that, and I'm gonna hit save trigger, okay? Before this is all done, I need to actually send it some sample data. So I'm actually gonna post that webhook right there. So I went to the other account where I'm gonna send it, send it from this account to the other one. So let's go ahead and save that, okay? Save and publish. Now, in order to get this to fire, I've got to go and create a contact from that account. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this tab. And I'm going to go create a new contact. Okay, so I'm going to get out of here, head over to contacts, make a new contact. Oop. Okay, so uh, I'm going to call it send to training account okay an email send to training at gmail.com let's do a phone number okay and let's hit save so i just created a new contact right now that should have grabbed this contact created trigger and it should have sent the webhook if i see my enrollment history here there it is, there's my new contact, which means that over in the other account, over here in the training account, I should have a sample request. So I can, hey, fetch sample requests. And what's the reference payload? Well, there's only one, I just sent it, okay? There it is, send to training account. I have all that information. Tags, the lead, all where it came from, the workflow, all of that information, okay? So now that we have this information, we can then map it in the, other, in the other one. So that just came through, save that trigger. And so we catch that thing and we, we're gonna create, update the contact. So let's add a field and we're gonna say that the first name, the name, the first name, we're gonna map that to the first name. And then the last name we're gonna map that to the last name and so on and so forth. Email, we'll map that to email and phone. Goes to phone. Now they do have tags here, right? They have tags, but what I don't see is, you know, tags over here necessarily. So I'm not sure how that's supposed to work, uh, but that's the general idea, at least. First name, last name, email, phone, and then basically whatever else you can find. Um, 
then we have location, we have the workflow. I, you know, I wonder if this comes through with custom fields, if that would come across as well. We could definitely try that. Um, so let's go ahead and save the action and save and publish. Okay. So now we have this person here. We have this workflow. Let's go ahead and turn allow reentry on in case the same person comes through again. Let's also on contact updated, contact changed. This trigger only runs for tags and assigned user, only runs for changes in tags, assigned user, and custom fields. Okay. So what if we send over a custom field? What does that look like? So let's say we, uh, let's say we um, wanted to send over something else. So like how long is the party? Two hours. Okay. So party duration is two hours. If I just made a contact change right there, let's say I add some tags too, All right? So here's uh, here's tag one. I'm gonna add tag one. So I have now just uh, triggered that contact change trigger a couple times now, All right? So hopefully there it is. So it came through once, came through there again. So now when we head over to the training account and we look at this thing, inbound webhook trigger, we can actually probably see a different, see now there's some different requests. So let's find the last one. There's the latest one. And now what do we see here? Well, we've got a lot more information. We still have that first name, last name. We have that tag one now. Do we have that, uh, do we have the uh, party duration, right? So we're talking about those custom fields coming through. There it is, party duration. So now if I come over here, save that trigger, uh, if I create update that contact, I could now, if I had an associated, uh, let's say I had a party, let's say I had the same fields, right? Let's see if I can't find something that I couldn't just use as an example. Let's say enter your main website URL. What if I set that to party duration? There you go, okay. And I only, the thing with tags, I just don't see, I don't see how tags would quite work. But what you could do is, uh, let's say, what if I put question and I set that to tags? Because we had that other tag. So let's hit save action now. Okay, so now we've updated that um, mapping. So now when we go find someone else, let's go find just someone completely different and we'll make a change. So let's go, let's, let's do Rick here and let's add his last name. We'll call it uh, Hurst and we'll call his email. We'll say Rick Hurst at gmail.com. And then let's do that party duration we saw. So party duration, we'll say it's two hours. And then let's add a bunch of tags as well. So, or let's just add another tag. Let's just do January 26th webinar. Okay, so now if that all just fired, which we think it did, then if we head over here, we should see a new contact created with that mapping. So what was his name? It was, uh, it was Rick. Was it Rich or Rich Hurst? Rick Hurst, okay, so this is the test account. I'm looking now in the training account. Let's go over to the contacts. There we are, Rick Hurst. So what do we have? We have Rick Hurst, we have his email, we have his phone, and we said we were gonna map it into that custom field so that we can see that mapping came across. The tags, where did we say we were gonna stick the tags? Uh, I guess we could look at the mapping we said we were going to stick oh it's going to be right here we we're going to in question we were going to stick the tags so if we go find question now uh let's see if i can find it there it is it, it puts a stream of the tags so the existing one that was already there and then the new one that i just added so that for whatever it's worth 
that's how you could use inbound webhooks and webhooks uh, to copy contacts between two accounts. Make sure you have like the, uh, the same custom field so they can have a place to land. But that's the gist of sending contacts between two accounts, which can come in super handy sometimes. Hope that helps guys. And if you need any expert help with your high level builds, your workflows, questions, definitely put in a ticket to ghlbountyhunters.com. I got a team of people behind me that take tickets all the time. Check out this video here about GHL Bounty Hunters, and we hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support, and we hope to see you on the next episode of The Marketing Show.